going to show you how to use my 3-9 circle squared ruler and I'm going to use this inside and show you how easy it is to rotate around the circle as I quilt. So what I've already quilted is an X in all of the squares and so now I'm going to go back and add an orange peel design to them and then at the end of this video I will show you what it looks like when it's done. I am going to do this continuous, so I'm going to create a design and not quilt the entire block, but quilt out a majority of it and then come back from the right and quilt to the left and pray that the thread does not break. So when you're quilting with a ruler, first and foremost, it's important to stop on these raw ends a quarter inch from the end because otherwise your quilting is going to be cut off and then part of your design will be cut off and it won't look proportionate. So just remember your seam or binding is going to go right in there. This is actually a bench pillow front so for this it will be a seam. And so just keep that in mind. Up here at the top where the border next to the inner border is, you do want to go to the point there. It's just here on these, these bottom raw edges that you want to go a quarter of an inch in. So I'm going to quilt starting here. And I want to have my ruler a quarter of an inch away from the center point where I'm going to. So I, I just brace the ruler with my left hand and quilt with my right. Now with this design, it's, it's easier for the ruler if you have it going in the same direction to do that longer one. And then come back because I am going to rotate it now that way. I'm going to rotate it this way and then come up and do I'm going to I'm going to do the outside ones so when I come back it's easier to just do these top ones so then I'm going to move on to the other one and that's how I do it continuous noticing how I'm rotating the rulers, how easy it is because I'm using this inside piece. It would be the same thing on the outside. This ruler design is just so easy to rotate the rulers as I quilt without having to stop all the time.
Okay, now I'm ready to work my way back. So sometimes thread can break when you quilt from right to left and it was on me when I was doing the straight lines, but it hasn't been with these curves. So hopefully it doesn't, but if that's the case on your machine, what I would do is make sure you leave one of these petals unquilted because changing the direction in your thread when you're quilting from right to left by just coming down and getting this orange pill and then going up and doing it that same, if you were to do that same one as you go from right to left, it's enough to change it and hopefully not break your thread. But this shouldn't break. This is the fourth one of these that I've quilted today, so the others haven't been breaking on me. So now I'm just gonna go back and quilt to my starting point. I love with these rollers that you can just rotate it a little and you have what you need. where we started. So I have six rulers in this set. This is the three nine and they range from two inches up to 13 and they also come in this clear that I've been quilting with and also green acrylic and it's high quality quarter inch acrylic and there's some awesome lines and measurements on here along the bottom on each side so check those out on my website. They're on quiltingit.com and you can go to my shop to see more about them or I've also done some blog posts about them. So check that out. Thanks for watching.